Good evening, guys. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear me. I am now live, he says, hopefully. Good evening, guys. Yes, we are. We're working. Excellent. So, I just got to do the normal uh, bits. And uh, good evening, Bradley. I'm glad you can hear me. That's good. That's gone in pretty well. Hi, Carl. Hi, Julian. How you doing? I just got to sort all the bits out, do the monetization content live. So I'm glad you can all hear me, which is really, 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 really good for me. Um, so, yes, it's Discord members choose the routes tonight. So a couple uh, about a week and a half ago, I put down a post basically saying for people to... Uh, list what routes uh, they, they would like me to play. And obviously, um, yeah, there's a few uh, that were suggested. And uh, hi, Laser Jet, welcome. So the routes were as follows, if I can find everything else a second. Dump. Um, bear with me. Uh, I can hear a balloon or some sort of power glider flying around my place at the moment. Uh, oh, can't go in there. Uh, so how have your uh, days been, um, your, your last couple of days? Oh, there's a bus there. Um, how has your last few days been going? Treating you well, I hope. Um, I'm in the back cave, guys, as well. Um, Sorry, I just got to do the Facebook post. Everyone likes my picture of the Rail Adventure Class 483, which hopefully we will be seeing more of in the near future. It won't be until Rush Hour is released. Um, yeah, so uh, that'll be fun, he says. Um, right, I just got to get that sorted. Right, I think we're ready. The monetization is up and running, which is good. Yeah, so Discord. So basically the routes that were chosen were follow, were, are the follow. The routes that were chosen were the, the following. So uh, I chose Cathcart Circle. Bradley chose Southeastern High Speed. Carl chose Great Western 1970s. Richard chose East Coastway. Jack chose the Isle of Wight. Laser Jet, names had drop, <laughs> dropped Sand Patch, uh, dropped, chose Sand Patch Gar Grade. Um, Arsenal fan, Evan, he chose Hapstracker Rhine Ruhr, aka Hentless Railroad. Uh, Simulation World chose Northern Trans Pennine. Sammy chose Tees Valley. Bradley chose TGV. Yeah. It'll do so it'll choose something original one day. <laughs> Carl chose Kane Creek. Johan chose Snell Fastrecker Colin Arken. And Jack chose Great Western Express 2015. So yeah. I can tell you six of those routes will be in tonight's stream. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what ones. Um yeah, so I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Um who have we got in anyway? Evan, hello. Good evening, Kate. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Crashed the 395 last night and had to reverse the F7 for a mile because it didn't want to climb the 0.1% gradient. Hi, hey, Oliver. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Right, so, yes. Oh, sorry. I've, got, I've just been picked up some Tango Orange sugar-free drink. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That is bloody nice for another option to have a sugar-free drink. That is very nice. So, yes, we're on the PS5, and strangely enough, you can actually hear me, which is really, really good. Because when I did it on Thursday, the reason being was the mute button to mute the mic was actually unmuted. But because it had the picture of a mic with a big massive line for it saying it was muted, I pressed it. And the unmuted 
option, what I would have thought the unmuted option, where it was just a microphone, was about. But unknowingly, I'd actually muted the mic. Don't ask. Absolutely weird. Right, so tonight, where are we going to stop first? We're on the Hapstrack of Rhyme Ruhr. Hmm, continue journey. Do we do another... Um, I'm not doing very well with these, am I? Um, do we do another... I'll tell you what, we'll do a... Duisburg to e no, I don't want to do Duisburg to Essen because they're too short. Duisburg to Bochum's done. Well, I'll do a Duisburg to Bochum because it's not been done, but I've got a gold for it. Don't crash into Essen. No, you'll play along. Okay, so service will be IC. If anyone wants to play along with the 101 and Hatchstack of Rhine Ruhr, the service is IC 2157. You can either do it on Chapter 2 into the city on journey mode, or you can go in on um, timetable mode. Good evening, Johan. Trains and planes, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Everyone, welcome to the stream. Really appreciated that you're here. So if you're all ready, good evening, Sir Richard. How are you, sir? Uh, you'll be pleased to know that East Coastway never made it into the six. <gasps> Yes, I'm giving you a hint that East Coastway never made it in. So that's one of the routes that didn't. Carl's in. I'm in. I'm not in yet. So I can say I'm in with the best of them now. <laughs> Laser Jet, you was not great. You went to the hospital because you had a headache and you banged your head in the washing line. <laughs> Sorry. You was at the hospital till 2300 and was very sleepy. A couple of times. Good evening, Jack. Hola. Hola, young Jack. You're good, thanks, sir. Thank you very much. And that's not rude. And that's rude. Nude. What's rude, sir? <laughs> you got me now. I have no idea. Um, two weeks a day, folks. Two weeks a day. Big Discord meetup. And a good evening, Len. How are you, sir? Welcome to the stream. Laser Jet, I do apologise for just laughing because I I know I shouldn't. So um, yeah, you're on the Riviera line. Um, okay, there's a little bit of distance from Germany, right? So I'm in. Oh hello. Oh hello. Is this the? Um... No. No, it isn't. Oh, well. Sorry, I thought it was the uh, the special one, but it's not. Um. I best do this first. Obviously, we're safer in it tonight. So, why have I stuck? Oh, I'm stuck. That one. Uh, Tuesday then. The big update. Well, supposedly Tuesday. Um, who's looking forward? What? Okay. So. We've also well, hopefully we've all seen the streams. What do you think of the Boston, the uh, Boston route? Ah, oh, the only thing I find with this this controller, it's it's very sensitive in moving around. Great release. Train lights on. And I've got to do the brake here as well, haven't I? Personally speaking, I'm really looking forward to it. I like the look of it. And we'll do these windows as well while we're waiting. Love, love the purple train, the old purple. Um, that's the uh, MBTA one, isn't it? So I also, what did I put a video in the up in the um, 
uh, General Trains videos, railway videos links in the General Trains channel. More excited for the update. Yeah, the update looks promising. Lock the doors. Make sure that we're okay, ready to set. Yep, yep got all the lights there. We're still yet to have a line. It's interesting. Um, why haven't we got a line? Didn't really mean to do that. Wait, signal change. We must got we must have got something coming in. Bloody moth around here, go away. You spatted, really? I cannot believe you spatted, Bradley. Ah, that's probably why the old freight there. It's not what I think it was, was it? No. This is quite cool. Just waiting around for... Uh, Stuff to go through. In theory, we should catch up with the freight. Oh, we got. Hmm. You like bolt and sprint to laser jet? But a shame that the MBTA preview stream sound towards the end was misbehaving. Yeah, that's a, it's a slight problem. Hello, Will. What am I driving tonight? And did I see the 33 go to Eastleigh this week? Was that 30? Th that was the West Coast Railway 33, was it? Didn't it go there for some uh, with some electric units or something like that? Uh, we are driving the BR101 at the moment and um, we're waiting on a red. I don't understand what we're... Oh, there we go. Let's go. Don't forget, less than 49 kilonewtons to pull away. Otherwise, you will spin. Now that I've opened the blind in the window, the sun's come out. I guess you forgot to reveal the, remove the brakes. Class 411 and 419 filth. <laughs> yeah, apparently the, um, there's been, uh, work is being rest is work for work, um, restoring on, on um, with them, aren't they? You've been playing with PZB a lot, yeah, Hank? Cool. I will be doing PZB when Rush Hour is released. So I will be learning that in my spare time. Yeah, the S1 service left ahead of me. Well, you we won't be doing 150 kilometres at the moment. An hour, sorry. He's a bees active for you. I've just got C for at the moment. I will be learning it. So, yeah. I have to. Because it will make it more interesting as well. And challenging. And there's also... Um, there's also a new signalling to learn with Band Strucker Rise, Rise of Dresden as well. There's two types of signalling on there. So you have to learn that.
train lights are on. Everything's on. Yes. That's a bit of a bugger that. Next stop is Essen in 16 kilometres. Let's go. So the train lights are on. Hi, right, Vilas. Um, I'd love to be a train driver, um, but my many air disease would stop me from doing it, which is a big shame. I've driven a couple of uh, locos. I've driven a 47 and a 73. One on the main line and one in the siding. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to be a train driver in real life, but I can't because of my many air disease. Um, I can't be, I can't really be around the railway, especially with a live electric rail um, with balance problems. Um, so yeah. Um, to be honest, at the moment I like it being smooth, and I'm glad you said about that because I've got to do that. And I've got to do that. I mean, it is very smooth. This is the first time I've run this. I ran this route on here. That's great. I thought that was a red light there. gonna hurt a bit. <laughs> Bradley would like to drive, love to drive a thing. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm glad I can hit do, drive all these what we got here, the 101, the 395, the TGV, uh, the shunters, everything that I can drive, I'm happy to drive it, you know what I mean, it's, it's really something that I, you, in this day and age, we don't need to experience it in real life, sorry Bradley, although it would be nice, but we can experience it to a degree in the sim. You'd love to be a driver, 47, yeah. So I kind of slowed down a little bit too easy there, but too quickly. It'll be the next station, next signal that should be one of these signals um, will show red in a bit. It's so smooth though, that's what I like. And the sound I found... I've kind of found out as well that a lot of the horns will work a lot better sound-wise. And as you activate them. Yeah, exactly. The sim can put me in the place of being a train driver and 
I'm not, if you know what I mean. No, Julian. Um, I've just got it on the PS5 and the PS4. That was supposed to be the da da da. But it happened to be the one horn wonder. Yes, it is so smooth. Well, that's a bugger, Carl. Such a shame that. And the other thing occasionally... Do those green lights look okay to you? Okay Richard, that's cool. Don't worry mate. Thanks for popping in. Those green lights look really, really bright. It'll be as smooth as this. Bradley. Bradley and Jack's got, uh, um, uh, I was going to say iPhones, um, Xbox Series S. That's the white one, isn't it? I think you do. Right, I think we can go top notch. got the S2. Oh, and Carl, yeah. You've got the iPhone. You've got an iPhone S. <laughs> it's friendly. The thing is, as well, is that basically... The Hapstracker Munchen Augsburg full PC timetable will be coming to the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. They're still testing it on the S, so it might not come to it. And they did say about the PC version of the Great Western Express timetable as well. I think an X would be a lot better because obviously it's disc based as well so you can buy get this base games but yeah it does work on it be honest when I loaded the PS5 up and trained Sim World up when I first sorry let's get this right when I first loaded up Train Sim World 2 on the PS5 it was Hapstrack at Munchen Augsburg that I ran
Yeah, for the price, the S is a very good machine. I'm really pr glad that I bought the the, uh, the the Series S. And, I mean, you can play Microsoft Flight Sim on it, no problem. Because that's what I basically bought it for, was my, uh, Flight Sim. You donut. Won't be getting the room. Won't be getting the gold for that one. They can do 4K, yes. No, I'm keeping the discs. Um, I've got two PS4 Pros, so one I'm selling or trading in, and the other one I'm keeping. That will be going well. Eventually, the PS4 Pro will be in here as well with the PS3 and the PS5 and the Series S and the PC and laptop. I'm kind of hoping to try and plan out a new streaming room. I say trying, it's not, the, the planning is not going too well at the moment. So the other thing is as well for, um, oh, we'll wait till we stop. So, the other thing is as well, is because this is released in August, well next week, August bank holiday, anything now, I'll be able to run like after next week uh, in months. So basically you can check to choose what sort of month you want it. So if it's like August, just run it in August. No problem. Oh, the nightbox keeps you off. Davidoff. I'm not too bad, I hope you're okay. Um, uh, am I looking forward to Thursday? Yeah, I'm looking forward to um, the update and and um, Thursday as well. You looking forward to it? Oh. I guess everybody will be driving the same route when they download it then. <laughs> hmm. Um, definitely Wednesday midnight. 
but I don't think Monday. I think the update will come in the afternoon, which would be rather annoying because I'll be at work. Next stop is Bochum. We may get to see a freight train, I don't know. Yeah, definitely. Yes, I've got all routes uh, to download again. I mean, when I did, um, when I downloaded everything on the PS5 on Thursday, it took 20, I think it was about 20 minutes it took to uh, download and install. That's all 90 gig. So that's pretty quick and uh, interesting as well. There's the other train. So this is uh, what happens with Barnstrecker Rise of Dresden as well. This it happens on this route, on that route, where you have two diverging routes. So it will be able to use the BR 101, the BR 406 which is the ice train the MRCE 185 I think the 182 as well the 146 yeah that's cool Bradley So if you enjoy the stream, drop us a like. If you're new to this channel, drop us a sub. Is this too loud? A sub? Is this too loud? It seems to be coming out quite okay. I think it's just using my mic voice that's a bit loud. I think I need to take the microphone setting down a bit. I'll look at that in a minute. Yeah, that'd be cool. So I've hit 1,700 subs today as well. So thank you all very much. Really, really appreciate it. Regional service. Why did you stop there? I don't know if there's any freight trains up there. I'm not going to look on the map. We'll see in a minute.
the next route we're going to drive some freight but what will the route be So if you check in the top, top right hand corner where the uh, green signal is, just look down slightly off to the left of that, you will see the frames per second. You can see that I'm running at about 60, 61 frames per second. No, it's not sand patch. No, 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 no. There we go. That's our run done. I think we arrived a couple of seconds off. Although this route is a bit like fairly straightforward, it's still a nice little route and I quite like it. Especially spending an awful lot of time on it, doing the eight hours and as much else as I can, so to speak. So the freight's gone. Vorsicht bei der Einfahrt. Zugbeeinflussung. That one. Yeah, so in essence to your question, Davidoff, yes, I will be doing all the routes. I'll be downloading them. I have to. And there we go. I don't think we'll get a gold anyway. Because we didn't beat our thingy score. Right. So, what is the next route? The next route has pulled out by my mum, strangely enough, 
is another German route. And it's now fell struck a coal Archon route. I got four eight one nine. Okay. So we're going to do a freight run on this one, I think. And we are going to do it in a... What are we going to do it on? Oh, I am so tempted to do the BR112, but I can't because... Yeah, no. We're going to do the BR143. Some are clear, bit wet, a wee bit of cloud, make it a bit windy. Oh, as do you. Oh, well done. You've got a Google Doc of interesting services on TSW2. I believe I have something like that as well, which is pretty cool. There are some interesting services about. Um, uh, so I've done the westbound intermodals. Strangely enough, I've done the eastbound intermodals. Shall we do the uh, 1315 DB83133 eastbound intermodals? Decon Air Firm. Well, another driver will continue his journey. Cause, yeah, because you go off the screen. Yes, that's one. Good evening, Frank. Richie, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, so uh, DB83133 eastbound intermodals is next on Colne Arkham. And I will say it, you got 5,679. Oh, 5,079. Oh, cool. I do like that pick of the rapid transit. And there's a new one out as well. Which one was it? If I see it, I'll tell you. You probably notice it anyway. It's better than the Clinchfield stuff. Mind the gap. Oh, I'm in. We're doing 1,087 ton. Oh, hell yes. Are we in the station? No. We cannot be in the station. We are. It's not very often you spawn in the station. Wow, look at what we got in here. Ooh. Well, we got a... We got a... We got a green. Oh, um, just got to set her up. Hopefully they'll they'll do they'll sort sort the layers out so we'll also be running pink ocean network express ones as well. One four three one eight seven three is our is our plucky little loco what we're running today. Uh, so what else we got in here? We got the regional that does the thing, the four four two. I think that's it, isn't it? I think we're due an ice train anyway. I think the annoying thing is, all they've done with these containers is stuck the logo on them, because you haven't got anything on here. Look, you've got no information, no container number, and tear and weight and everything on there so that's just a little bit of a bit of a downer but oh well it's one of those things isn't it it is what it is right let's get her going shall we uh do the old brake key don't need to she's done already brakes yeah don't need to uh are we doing CIFA for this Uh, 
Uh, wind down the old windows. There's the old escape hatch. Um, headlights should be here, which is I think that is it. She should be going off soon. Your dad found some illegal immigrants. Bloody hell. Um, are we not moving? Oh no, it's not this again, is it? Brakes off. Forward. Another Russian Navy was in the channel. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I take it. The pans up. I had this problem the other day with the uh, one of the ice and that. Um, which one's the pan? Train line power is on. Containers, it doesn't matter. Let's put Panto down. There we go. Hi, Frank. Welcome to the stream. Um, What am I doing wrong, guys? No, this is, um, I'm doing Discord members choose the route. So there's a certain, oh, there's a certain, um, routes that we will be doing um, currently at the moment I don't seem to be going anywhere because this thing isn't going anywhere attractive effort mm. ah look at that Well, that went well. There we go. <laughs> You'll be going nowhere, Bradley. 
insert pool here, yeah. That's nah, okay, Frank. Cheers, though. Could have done with an extra loco, but yeah. Sixty-two kilometer run. Let's do it. I just love it how the driver with the 442 next to me was getting a bit impatient and drew up to the signal. So now you go 125 on this trip. What have you got? So next week, I've got to get some walking the route videos done. Good evening, Dave. How are you? Oh, PZB. Of course. We're going to go see if we can get 100 up. Yeah. Yes, looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that. That's going to be um, a bit of a laugh. Camera flyby. Not the best four four two. No, the Wessex Peaks the four four best four four two. They've now been consigned to history. Bit of a shame, really. It's a shame that we um, uh, don't have any other freight trains running, like parked in the sidings.
I must say, the stations look a little bit more busy than what they did on the PS4. On the PS5, I've noticed more passengers. Yes, definitely, Dave. I would definitely, highly, and almost certainly ridicule you if I didn't recommend it and you didn't get it so yes definitely 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 get it you get to drive the um uh, me. Oh, you get to drive the um 314 you get to do the 20 37 and 47 I believe as well on a rental and a 66 if you've got them I'll have 200 next what are you driving are you, you driving the 143 Bradley and everyone else the 314 is absolutely brilliant to drive and the sound effects on there are really really good I would be surprised to see if we get a rail tour or two added in with the um, timetable for Brighton. Be surprised if we didn't. Um, possibly the odd freight with JNA wagons, because that's the only freight wagons we got, and that's the only freight wagons that will run along the Brighton main line. You don't really see any container trains. Can't really say about the DBS hoppers. Now we're motoring. We better slow down the Ooh, 110. HKAs should be on Southeast High Speed, yes. You should possibly have the, J the JHAs as well, the EWS JHAs, the big, big bulk ones. Um, almost definitely have a 73. I am on Snellfestrucker Colne Arken and I am on a BR143 with um, containers. Usually a BR185 job. Hello Nixon Gaming, how are you? Sorry, I completely missed your appearance. Welcome to the stream, I hope you're okay. Said the blackbird, outside. Wildlife outside tonight is a bit rowdy, by the sound of it. Probably the foxes are about. 73 could be nice actually. They do, they do have the 73s on the Brighton Mainline game, don't they? Uh, sorry, on the train simulator one with the 73s. They have the 460s as well, it'd be nice to see them. You're looking forward to using the new head out camera coming in for the update. What, that one? Oh, 
Oh, definitely in the city livery, yeah. There'll be a few of those liveries made if 73's ever came. It'd be nice to see them do a 442 for the Gatwick Express, but I can't really see that happening. <laughs> Bradley, great minds think alike, Mush. Oh, I'd be in, I'd, I'd be in heaven if they did the BR 442. Class 442, sorry, not the German one. Oof. 47 class, kilometres to go. Yeah, 442 would be definitely awesome. Oh. It'd be ditch the Gatwick Express livery and get a network southeast livery on it. I would be surprised to see that they actually do a Portsmouth to Waterloo route. Use that camera by selecting classic control scheme in settings. Or if you have a keyboard, just use the arrow keys on your keyboard, left and right. And then press Q to cancel uh, thingy. Oh, what have we got? We've got a freight. Yeah, yeah. Cars, layers. So we'll be stopping before Colm. So next Sunday will be Microsoft Flight Sim, for, uh, Microsoft Flight Night um, for Sunday. Um, that this Sunday coming is Red Dead Redemption story mode. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to fly from next Sunday. Actually, probably... I think we'll do a fly out from Heathrow. And we can do <laughs> we can do one or two, one of two destinations. We can either do Berlin, take my breath away, or there's a song there somewhere, or Paris. You'll be having on another pet unit in DLC. What? You'll be in heaven on another pet unit in DLC. Oh, okay. Well, it's only going to be the 313 or a 455 I can't see him doing the oh I don't know I couldn't see I can't see him doing the 455 but they could do actually and get all the sounds from Armstrong powerhouse that could be a bit of a goer actually Berlin de Carlar oh for God's sake Bradley well, a 508, yeah, but the 508s don't run down here anymore. I know people people do say about the... Uh, people say about the Mersey Rail line with the 508, but it's boring. All you got to have 508s. I just wouldn't bother, to be honest. Forty kilometres to go. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, definitely, Dave. Definitely. Bradley, would you recommend the Class 465? Get spending some of that money. 465 and the Cathcart Circle Line. <laughs> Bradley, yes! Damn it! Yes! I mean, after Cathcart and the Bakerloo line, the UK needs a decent route with plenty of freight, plenty of passenger work and a nice route length. Cathcart is a nice route, Bakerloo is a nice route, but you've got one train got one bit of stock on it I don't think we're far from Turin are we? no we're not I recognise I recognise the corner and the fence because this is where I nearly got mullered the other day with a BR146 on my um, nearly mullered me when I was doing walking the route If I remember rightly, it was here. Was it there? It was somewhere around here. Here it is. No, it was somewhere, I can't remember where, but there was no bridge. There's literally no bridge there, it's just a track suspended in midair. Oh, we passed it. We passed it. Oh, what have we got in the uh, regional? And we got the um, BR44 thingy. There's the BR Formula One, and that's the other um, F Barn service. We should, we, we, should, we should be seeing more of those. So, do those S Barn services? Do they come off here then? I think they got. They must do, because they don't go to Arkin. Hi Joe, how are you doing? Is it prototype electro pneumatic or pneumatic or something like that? I don't know. It was four pet, wasn't it? Which I've got a photo of somewhere, I'm sure, but.
I've got a photograph of it somewhere, I'm sure I have. It's at um, Clapham Junction, I think. Raffi, what is that in relation to? Prototype electric new method, yeah. Four pet. Thirty K to go. Okay, right. So you guys, I get an overlay come up every now and then on telling me how many people are watching the stream. It doesn't appear on the stream itself. Oh, you're talking to Joe. Oh, right, okay. Joe, it's a completely different route. It's between Boston and Providence on this one. The route that was in Train Sim World, the original Train Sim World, was New Rochelle to Newark International Airport. Two different completely routes. Or two completely different routes. Earphone slipping off my head. In in effect, Joe, the route will be free anyway. Because You pay thirty four ninety nine for the season pass. You're only buying one route. You get the other two free. So in effect, you're like buying Rise of Dresden, and you'll get in NEC free. But it's like I said. Like Bradley said, it's a completely different route.
Bradley, are there any... Oh no, I'll um, talk to you in a minute actually. So we haven't seen any ICE trains yet, ICEs, Intercity Expresses. Yeah, well, we've had the old, um, well, we've had a freight, 442, region, regional, and a uh, few S-Bahn runs, but we've not had the ICE. There may be one running behind me. Yeah, we could have an ice train on the on the left hand side. Pour myself a drink while we're on auto cruise. Oh, get off. I love that bridge up there, that high bridge. Pretty cool. I think they do roughly about an hour service between each, sometimes an hour to two hours between each trip ice.
Yeah, I suspect there is one behind me. I hate it when it does that. There's a lot. Well, there is. Seven point two away. I've not had one yet, mind you. Though I started a fair bit late. But in theory, I should have had that already. Okay, cheers Dave, take it easy. That's cool. Thank you very much for showing up, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm starting to slow, uh, approaching the final destination. score 5360 mine's 4680 at the moment there's the ICE I'm in GTA docks again. There's a 442 up the Icy's bum. Nice array of signals there.
Wow, light bolt's kicking him out tonight, isn't he? No, he doesn't. He's on 24-7, that guy. Five thousand something for that, wasn't it? Five thousand three hundred ninety and a gold. Bradley hit it. Game cash or game crash? Oh, I beat you by thirty. Oh wow! How about that? You got five thousand three hundred and sixty. I got five thousand three hundred ninety. Excellent. Sixty-six point four five kilometers. Forty-six minutes. Excellent. Right, return to free row. Continue. Return to free row. Fancy trip, dice. Basically, we're going down here. You won't drive this. Oh, and there's another freight train coming up, look. So I don't know how far we'll be able to travel down here. See if it was doing my head in. Oh crap. Well, that went well. So I'm not sure how far we'll be going. And don't tell me you've ridden this before because this is the freight only route. Should be another freight train here in a second. Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, quite enjoyed that. Oh, ow, that's cool, I enjoyed that. 
bit of rare track mileage. You see the white light, and that's it. <laughs> right, while that's sorting out, I'm going to um, have a P&B. End of the line, yes. Bradley, my main man. I think you know what I'm going to say next. Next route, southeastern high speed. Hello. Right, so we are going to be doing a Tim Table service with the 375. Uh, summer clear because we're summer. Actually, we're going to have a summer cloudy. Bit windy. Um. We're going to do the one Echo 97 London Bruce to Ramsgate. So if you're hearing this, Bradley, one Echo 97 London Bridge to Ramsgate. I only have a silver for that. So we start at Gravesend. So if you're still there, Bradley, do they, um, do they have South Eastern services coming out of London, Victoria? I'm in, by the way. Well, it's been ages since I've been in one of these. Get off. Oh. Um.
is out of Victoria. I wonder if there'll be any AI services leaving Victoria. Uh, set me bits up. I think we're an eight car, aren't we? Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, I th you did put a note down for that in the Discord server, haven't you? Because I think I remember reading it. I'll have to have a look at that in a bit. Oh, sugar. Well, you know, I reckon there could be over 600 odd services. There's, three, there's only 178 um, services on the NEC. All the rest are AI services. Well, you can do this one again then, Bradley. The 377 has the 4, 8 or 12 car selector here. It doesn't have the TPWS button. So I reckon either an Airbus, that's the only thing we got really, you can't use a, I can use a Boeing 737 on the PC but I can't stream live on the PC which is bloody annoying. So I reckon a bog standard Airbus, um, or I might even go for a jet the executive jet I don't know yet from London Heathrow to I think we'll do Berlin in Germany what do you reckon Bradley for next Sunday there's a 737 on Xbox really when did that come in Well, I'll have to have a look tomorrow. I'm sniffing and snorting here as I'm taking drugs, but trust me, I'm not. I've just got a sniffy nose. Oh, we get to see what's in the yard, don't we? Yeah, we're not far away. You saw it today? Okay. I'll have to have a look to see if it's... I'll have a look tomorrow. Look how smooth this is. I think you'll find that this may slow down a bit as we approach Who uh, Junction. It certainly did as we did it from the other end. Oh, we've got a bloody train coming now. What more we got? So we got the Rail Adventure 66. Oh, Hentis Rail 66. And a GVRF 66. Nice. I like. 
<laughs> so does it have the British Airways liveries on it? Because that's made me intrigued now, because I wonder if, it, if it's the one that I've got, then I can download it free of charge. Yes. So out of the next three routes, I know Bradley is going to like one or possibly two of them. What was that? Pep? What? That's something. Something of what? What is something? Sorry. Do do one pup of ten? Oh, cool. What one's that, Arsenal fan? Four, six, five. That'll be a three, seven, five, won't it? Of course, with the uh, 387 coming to Gatwick Express, people will be doing the, uh, um, well, you can run it on the uh, Great Western anyway, but the only problem is they won't be able to run with the pantograph up. Oh, what Bradley said. Good evening, Nathan. How you doing? You had American. You had American. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's an American Airlines, there's KLM, there's British Airways. Um, if that's the case, then I just may do British Airways 737. We don't, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, 3750709 Faversham to Victoria. Oh, nice. Faversham. Oh, crap. Guess what I'm not done. If we survive this, I really didn't mean to push that either, you donut. Passengers, please hold station. Yeah, well, there's a Boeing 737 that... Um If that's available then it's the same one that's in microsoft flight sim on the pc the one that i've got that's available on the xbox then i'll hopefully be able to download it free of charge so do we have anything coming there we've got a green light down that way they got a yellow there we could have something coming across there, but I doubt it. It will stop there anyway.
Let's stop paying them. Just to go in for it outside. They have a much lower score. Oh, so the man to get around and play flight simulator. It's awesome. Oh yeah. I haven't played it at all this week. I've, I mean, I just haven't had time. I've um, probably won't get time next week. I want to try and do some videos next week. Um, Crikey, I've only got one episode. Nah, there's something wrong there. I'll have to look at that, see what, what episodes I've got left. I swear I might have messed up something on the running of this uh, um, walk in the routes. Bradley, you are not ever going to believe what route is next. Not quite, no. But we do have TGV. I hate my mum for drawing that out, I really do. No, I don't. You getting on? One, two, three. Hey, look at that, eh? More people on my train, look at that. You got on just in time. Uh, no, not GDC. Uh, Thursday morning, midnight, if you're on a console, be about five o'clock, four o'clock on Steam. Yeah, I'll have a look. Uh, I'll put the place, uh, the Xbox on tomorrow because I want to do some uh, train sim stuff tomorrow night. Tomorrow afternoon, sorry. No, Carl, not GWE70s. TGV is in the next route or two. I'm not even looking at the speed on this tonight, I don't know why. I'll get a silver on this. Very much doubt I'll get a gold. Tees Valley is one of the routes. So we've got Tees Valley and TGV. There's one more route that's next. Oh, 
Oh, at least one city as well. Oh, cool. TGV will be the last one. Tees Valley is the one before that, number five. And number four is the one that you've not got yet. Uh, it's not German, no. Definitely not German. It's not Northern Transpennine. Nathan, it wasn't in the list. Good guess, though. If you're enjoying the stream, leave us a thumbs up. If you're new to the stream, leave us a sub. Cane Creek. No, it's not. It's not Cane Creek. You're all looking on the Discord page now, aren't you? Trying to figure out what one it is. Gillingham Platform 3 is next. I'm hoping to see if I can get 2,000 subs by the end of the year. So it'd be really appreciated if I can. I don't think Long Island Railroad was chosen. to my mate Paul. got till we get oh what have we got in there oh 465 you got till we get to Faversham anyway Running a bit late. Yeah. 
the barriers should be down by now, which they are. I think we'll see them from this side. Ryan Austin, no. West Somerset Railway, no. I think those barriers going up and down is cool. So we've got a unit in there, and we've also got a unit in the back up there, look, you can't really see it. It's always good to see trains in sidings. Nope, out of white. No East Coast way, no. 2.1 miles of rain ham. I think you said every one, but. Nope. <laughs> I'm a bit miffed at that as well. Don't know why, but you thought this was ECW, even though it's not in the top six. Nope, it's... Um... Can I do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wonder if the old bill was going to be there. Oh, hell no. Yes, Richard. Welcome to the server. Well, at least it's not going to be a 25 mile an hour crossover. Yes, this is better than ECW. Although ECW and South Eastern High Speed will be a decent route to compare to each other. There's a shame this didn't go all the way down to Dover, but hey ho. Yes, Sam Patch Grade is next. Mind the gap. Yeah, I know because the pep. Cathcart is quite nice. But I love to run those three one fours ragged. We'll run Cathcart next Saturday. Tonight it's a bit of sand patch. a little four-legged dog's point of view. Said the dog. <laughs> oh, 
signal controlled. Next stop is Chittingbourne, which don't think there's anything in the sidings this time. Shoe cam. Home of BCP Rail, yes. No. Motion blur. It's a shame they don't have the noise when it hits the rail. Why are we stopping that old symbol? BCP Rail will be saying uh, tones for the boys. Yeah. There's probably a service in front of me. Yeah, because that's down yellow again. There's nothing in there. Why has it gone red? Blimey. Oh, I think as we get to sitting born, she'll be going to bed as well. So what trains do you get in the sidings any time, Bradley? Do you get much in there?
time. Go come back and do that. Excuse me, coming through. Out right of way. Damn, we're going to make it. Yeah, anyway, Bradley, don't know if you did hear that. What's what do you get any trains in the sidings at all? Babisham is next. Well, do you get any regular trains in there? Ah, OTP stuff. Okay. You imagine if they did a um well that hut still gets me i hope they leave it there because that's just funny um it'd be great if they did a uh um i know they won't but uh southeastern high speed network southeast timetable nse uh and Jaffa Cake livery uh, electric units, the old 33, 73, and a 59. Two for Bradley, anywhere near here somewhere? I think I might have missed that actually. We had that um, uh, rail grinder down the other day as well. Four point seven miles left on this one. Good evening, Mancunian Chief, uh, Mancunian Red. How you doing? Yeah, a bit busy, a bit busy today. Uh, kind of knackered. I'll sleep well again like, uh, tonight, like I did last night. I was meaning to, as soon as I got in from work, freshened up. I didn't want to go on the PC because I was a bit tired, so I went, uh, put YouTube on the TV and was planning to watch the rest of the stream that I didn't watch on Thursday. Yeah. When I woke up at half past three this morning, the TV was still on with another YouTube uh, video showing, don't know what it was. And, um, yeah, <laughs> so I, like, quickly stuffed everything off. Yes, very noisy. I think it's a, the one that you had was the seven, the seven, well, I say, seven car one. 
it, probably the Loram one. I think Network Rail do have a new one as well. The 7 one, I'm not sure. The, the Loram or Spino rail grinder. Have you seen him in action? A bit too late to start slowing down. Are we going to get the 60? Probably not. Should be down a little bit slower, actually. Yep, we're going to get shoved in the side, aren't we? So, for those of you that haven't seen on the stream before, obviously know that I'm uh, now just started on running the PS5 for Trains in World. What, what do you think of it? Do you think it looks smoother? Uh, hi, Pi Train. No, there wasn't. But I think it's. I think Bradley will correct me on this, but I think it's because we're not traversing the line at speed. We we would have slowed down enough at 15 miles an hour before the junction. Uh, yes, the, um, I did say about it's, don't. It won't be this Thursday um, because we've got. Um, We've got the release for Rush Hour. Um, it will possibly be the Thursday after. Um, it will be the Thursday, the 26th. I think it is. The 25th is a Wednesday. Yeah, the 26th. Because the 28th is a Saturday where we're, where we're going to Reading. Hi Brian, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope your Saturday's going well. Ooh, excuse me, I'm tired.
Um, I will have a look. Uh, oh. That's a bugger. Any ideas why? Hi, Brian. Oh, got a lot of doors. What one are we doing? Uh, those ones. Oh, dear. 42 minutes. 9,425. I've already completed it, so... Wow. Another level. Yeah, it should be two weeks time because next Saturday, next Thursday, sorry, is the um, release date for uh, um, Rush Hour uh, Boston to Providence route. That's a nice, that's a nice uh, um, thingy. That's the right. I think that is Rhine Ruhr Austin. That's rapid transit. Yeah, it was Ryan Austin. It's on the bottom, look. Yeah, it's kind of weird, that. Strange. Strange. Right, so Sam Patch grade is next. Although I gladly trade it in for Cathcart Circle, but I can't. So, yeah. Um... Don't worry, I'm not going to do a scenario. We could do clear cut. Switch and service the required locomotives. No. Powering America Part 2. Having travelled up Rockwood, you'll quickly put to work at nearby mine finish. Loading a train of coal. No. Powering America. I've, I've done that. Bloody hell, I didn't realise I'd done that. Uh, so, no, we're not going to do those just yet. Well, if I did Slippy Descent, I'd be afraid to do that. No, that would take me down to an hour. That would do timetable. It's fine. Trade it. You've got a high ho silver on rapid transit using DB182. Oh, cool. What is my name? It's Anthony Henley. We are using, or we are going to use, uh, nah, we're not going to use that one. We are going to use, A UP loco. Wetness. Susan loves that. Clear day and, and wind strength. Hi, Emella. How are you? Hi, Brian. Going to miss the rush hour release. I'm away from home Tuesday and Friday, so you should have loads of uninstalled and reinstalled to do on your return. Ah, be fun. Normally you would be going for gold as Mr. Bradley loves that song. <laughs> yes. Bradley loves that. Right, we are doing, if I can remember, It? 
Oh. Have I got the right ones? I think they're actually GP38s, aren't they? Oh, sod it. We'll use the Hentis Road GP38s then. Sod it. Black or grey? John, oh, if you're from E, yeah. What do you want, black or grey? No, what? I'm going to go for grey. Sod it. Right, we're going to do... It's one we've done before, so. So, take the yard power over to the yard and pull together. 15 minute one, grey. Did I do grey? I think I've done grey. I've not used that one before, so. I've run out of drink. <sighs> Running on dry. Take the yard power over to the yard, pull together the new inbound cars, then take the cut over to a bowl for classification. 15 minutes, let's go. Right. Uh, there she is. What else have we got running around the yard? Let's have a look. Oh, hello. Still in turntable first. Oh, Uni MP over there. We have the CSX, just CSX and CSX. We have a UP AC4 400, dirty one at that. By the looks of it, yep. That does look nice. I was going to try and open the door, obviously not. What have we got over here? CSX stuff. Oh. I said we'll see what else we've got. I suspect we've got some stuff coming in at some point. Right then, got our lights on, no one's home. Thought that that would do anything. Uh, that can go on, that can go on. That's all ready. Stick up the radio. You know what? I've never ever put the warning devices on. Never. Until today. I don't think we can do any more else, can we? No. Right. Okay. Main thing we have to remember the windows. Nothing like walk, working in a stale environment. Get some fresh air in the joint. In fact, open the door. Right, couple of the formation of eight wagons. Let's go. Uh, when I first started doing this, all I played this, all I wanted to do was drive the train. I hated setting the loco up, but I love it now. 
Uh, we should do it as cut out. Ah, good evening then, Mickey Mick. How are you? Hi ho, Silver. I'm okay, Imella. Thank you. I hope you're okay. I'll probably have to uh, pause in a bit because I've got to go and get her sorted for bed. So, uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll see. Right. And check the points are okay. No, they're not. So I think we're fine, up to about there. So I know I'll end up derailing on the point. Wow, we've got a nice long way to go. About a mile, I think it is. So why doesn't it just let me go down that route? That's a bit silly, isn't it? Well, we got a nice long trip. Let's go. Cold and dark, yes. Cut the brakes in. Didn't set it up too well though, did I? So what do you think of the uh, MBTA uh, F4K F F40C, it's not F40K is it? Oh, too fast. Wow, we get to go 15 miles an hour. I did read on the, um, I did put it on the Discord server. Actually, no, it did go on the Discord server, it's somewhere else. Uh, that someone complained about the speed limit of going around the big massive loop that Southampton East Yard at Boston, saying that they're going around at five miles an hour, said it's all, it's just as bad as uh, Cane Creek at 25. And I'm like, yeah, but it's the actual route, what do you expect? Yeah, you're not exactly going to put, in real life it's five mile an hour, but oh, because the players won't like it, we'll set the route limit to 75. How about that? You know what I mean? It's like, that cave, ah yes, that's where I showed it. I'm getting too old to remember where I put things. Ooh, being there's some stuff over there. Look at that. Oh, and uh, um, 
uh, US Post, is it US Post or UP Post? I can't know what it's called now. OP, is it OP? Post OP. Post op. I was just kind of hoping, I think, that we see some of these wagons, these, obviously we'll see the CSX wagons, but I just wonder if they'll sub in with the livery creators. Bradley, can you put that in the Q&A? How's life, Hentis? Uh, it's not too bad in Mella, to be honest, at the moment. It's just a bit stressful because of work. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going okay, kind of. But just stress at the moment. Yeah, you still get the, uh, what do you call it, uh, fill-in. Bradley, can you ask on the Q&A if um, livery-created livery wagons from the CSX rolling stock will appear in the um, various yards along with the CSX stuff on Boston? Yeah, I know it's. I'm kind of hoping it's going to be smooth, but I don't know. It's it's the Christmas rush that's going to be happening, and yeah, it's going to be a nightmare. I think. So I'm not looking forward to it one bit, to be honest. But if I can get out of there with a few more thousand pounds in my redundancy then I'll be happy uh, Carl, 5 mile an hour is tediously boring but it's that limit for a reason exactly I wonder if there's idiots complain about the speed limits when they're driving on the road yeah they probably are so I'm not sure if we're going to be seeing anything coming down to be honest The old hump, hump yard, which I don't think they use anymore. I don't know. Actually, they, they may do. All done. Thank you, Bradley. You're a little star. Oh, hello. What have we got coming in here? Ah, that's the um, auto racks, isn't it? What's he got on him? Racing four, four hundred, aren't they? a bit weird because you think going on the main line they'll be over on the right hand side be nice to have a couple of UPs on that put on the right What, this side? Yeah, they're all CSX at the moment. I want to put a couple of BLSF ones in there. The frame rate's still, still going okay. Got 60 frames a second. The new menu, I don't know, I've not really seen it really, to be honest. I'll have a good look at it at some point. I think this sits in the yard for a few hours and then it goes out later on. And you're supposed to put a set of helpers on it. And you can run it as a helper up to, I think it's up to Sam Pat's grave. You've never played this on Train Sim? Yeah, they're the auto racks, Carl. 
I don't know if they're empty or full. I guess I could cheat going to look. They're empty. Yeah, they're empty. Where's my locos? There we go. Um, I know, but obviously you got Americans that they love their freight, don't they? That's the thing. And this is, to be honest, it's quite a good thing for freight. I know, like, a lot of people will want to be going fast as hell. But, you know, there is, unfortunately, due to certain areas. I mean, you can get up to 80 on here as you come down into uh, Cumberland um, but the majority of it is it's really slow obviously because of the uh, the gradients I mean, given time, I will end up doing a lot more of the runs. Oh, blimey. Hello. What have we got here? So, we've got a tank train coming in with, properly, um, a hopper wagon between the, wa the, the low coast and the tank. which is what they've been doing. I don't know if this is going to have helpers on it or not. Oh, look at that. It's got another tank, another wagon on the back, look. Got some nice shunting things around that you can do as well. You can, oh, by the looks of it, that's a BNSF uh, hopper. I know they do, but I'm not blowing the horn that does it. Because I find the horn and bell together bloody annoying. Also, please note this is my stream as well, so try not to tell me what to do. No, this is my uh, Pentis Rail Primer Grey GP38. Hello, Ethan. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing okay. Got. 
Oh, I've got a nice little varied selection. It is post op, isn't it? Yeah, it's post op. I keep forgetting what it is. Uh, I'm going to change ends on this as well. Right, so I know where I'm going. Right, so. back in there hundred uh, just break it off just hold that on bring that off take that one off um take that off. I think that's right. Done there, dynamic brake off. Uh it lights off. And I think some of lights off. Now I think I might have to come back and change that, I don't know. I was doing this on Peninsula Corridor the other day with the GP38. It's literally exactly the same. No, I've screwed the brakes up, haven't I? Sorry. I've not changed my brakes. I've left the uh, independent on. So they're off. Yeah, that's right. Hi, Johan. Try this again. Right. Back off. Uh, freight. That's right. That's on. Get off. Switch that on. And we're going to switch the lights on. I think, take the brakes off, put it forward. And there we go, right. So what we're doing now, now we just find our route back. Oh, I think she'll be calling me in a minute. So that's right. That's right. We got a chain. That one. Yep. Goes there. Go via that. Okay. I have to wait till we get there then. What routes have we done so far? We have done Hapstracker Rhine Ruhr, Colne Arken, Southeastern High Speed. This is Sam Patch Grade, and we have Tees Valley and possibly TGV next.
So if you enjoy the stream, chuck us a like. Chuck us a sub if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying it. And don't forget to hit the bell icon and uh, be notified of when I upload videos, when I do live streams or when I make a community post. If you're interested in becoming a member of the Discord server, then that should be just up above. I'm just going to chuck you the link now. And the link is there. There's also donations if you are fairly impressed with my driving and thinking he's good. And I like what I see. Um, it's entirely up to you. You can uh, do via PayPal, which is on the top pinned message or you can hit the little dollar sign next to the smiley it's entirely up to you now if I was to shut down if you had asked me to shut down the AC4400 it would be I can't do that Well, that's a new one in. And there's the auto rack train there, that one. Yes. I thought I was off route then. Same principles that electronically done. One comes directly through to me. Everything, all, every single bit, every single penny. Unlike YouTube, it will just take their cut. I'm going to have to pause this in a minute. I think she's going to be going to bed. So I'm going to get her off and sort it out. Bed. Right, I'm going I wasn't aware that's correct. Yep.
Right. I'll have to stop it when I get to the location. Well, pause it. Um, and then basically we'll go from there because I've got to get her into bed. Put her oxygen machine on and everything for her. So, um, yeah. I'm quite proud of that. Post-stop wagon. So this is where all the bowl shunting goes on around. Yeah, but that's the thing though. Some people do like just shunting. That's, that is the really weird thing. That's the tank wagon, tank train there. There are people that like just driving freight like switching there's people that like driving passenger stuff commuter stuff and there's people that don't like doing anything but just moan about everything when it comes on you know new stuff and everything but yeah i don't mind it to be honest right i'm gonna pause it here and we'll carry on. Oh, that one just goes. You are joking me. Seriously? Right. I'm just going to pause that there. And I've got to go down and sort her out. So I'll see you guys in a second. Four ten. Or a little bit longer. Just pull that out and take that down. Right, give me a bit.
Hello, hello, hello. He is back. Mind the gap. Thank you very much there, Mr. Phone. Telling me to mind the gap. Right, what have I missed? Nothing. UK shunting. Uh... Bing, 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 bing. Okay, right, so we're um, shunting this back, I believe. So I've had a um, that's going in there, look. Okay, cool. So I've I've had um, a go at the Asobo game that comes with the PlayStation. Yeah, it's all right, and it really shows you how um, the PlayStation 5's capabilities, the use of how how the hatch haps, hat trick hapstick whatever it is haptic triggers work. Which is pretty cool, actually. Good evening, Darko. How are you? Shall I just say welcome to the server again? And um, just in case, uh, I'll see you again when you um, join again next time. <laughs> Tees Valley is next. Oh yes, Tees Valley. And we could well end on TGV. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? That's how we do it. And of course, we're going to climb down, facing the main line, of course. How you doing, Darko, anyway? should be able to unlatch these. I don't know why sometimes you can't. That should be it for this, yeah. Yes, thank you. Oh, the PS5 is awesome. And we're running at a constant 60, 60 odd frames a second. So, yeah. Let's just go straight out and start. 3,555, I don't think I'll be getting that much.
Yeah, I was really, really lucky to get it. Basically, um, my mum obviously woke up. I had to get her out of bed. She wanted to go to the toilet. I then had to get her back into bed. So when I went to bed, back to bed myself, I was looking on my phone, clicked on uh, a shop on mail order and saw that they had PlayStation 5s in stock. So I had to get up and I nearly pooed myself nearly stubbed my feet in the process on um, um, my bedside cabinet to get all my details ready and um, put the info in. So yeah, I, I managed to, what, by about half past four, I think it was, I was back in bed getting to sleep, or trying to, thinking, I've got myself a PS5, I've got myself a PS5. I've done the service before anyway, so yeah, I won't get it. Um, 4,000, 3,405. Ooh. There you go. TG, um, Tease Valley is next. Yeah, I did leave a message for, um, both Bradley and, uh, well, unfortunately, Jack wasn't very well, so he wasn't on Discord that day, so he didn't know. And his next day, it was like, you got yourself a PS5? Wow! So, um, yeah. Um, 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 it was TG, uh, Tees Valley, wasn't it? What are we going to do on Tees Valley? I fancy a bit of chopper action, actually. What is it that they've done on Tees Valley now as well? Let me just check my update sheet. Diesel Legends, East Coastway, Clinchfield, Main Speset Barn, DBBA 204, Hatchtrack of Munchen Ellsberg. Northern Trans Pennine, Oakville, Peninsula Corridor, enabled substitution of the Union Pacific GP38 2 so that it's usable on other routes. So that would be awesome. Hopefully, we might see it on um, Oakville. Uh, London Bakerloo. I can't find something, something, what they've done with Tees Valley. What have they done with it? Tees Valley. Improved the ability for the BR Class 20 to appear on other services. Fixed missing localization, name duplication, and scenario plan for BR Class 20 and 31s. Added rail driver functionality to the 08 and 101. Fixed an issue with HUD and a meter from showing inappropriate values. So yeah. Right, someone just messaged me on Dark um on Dark on Discord. Um Oh yeah. Fancy oh god Bradley. I should have known that really, shouldn't I? Really should have known that. Um uh, Right, okay. What's the difference between PS4 Pro and PS5? You're very interested. PS4 Pro, I was hitting maximum 30, sometimes the odd 50 frames a second. And I couldn't run Hapstracker Munchen Ausberg. Um, I was running Hapstracker Munchen Ausberg with 60 frames a second. If you look, I'm constantly running at 60 frames a second, even on Hapstracker Munchen Ausberg. Um, it says 59 there, it's roughly 59.60. Uh, Tees Valley. So we're going to be running some choppers. Bit of chopper action. Summer again. Um, a 
Drive a train of empty steel wagons to Lackenby Grid sidings. 6.15 in the morning. Nah. There's a lot of steel wagons uh, driving. Yeah, because I was streaming at 1080p, but this time I'm streaming at 1080p, but it's about... It's just slightly different. It's a higher one. Yeah, Hatfield or Red Car. We don't travel very far with that, do we? Um... You know what? I reckon it's going to be driving a train of empty steel wagons to Lackenby Grid sidings. What do you reckon? 1615. Oh. Sorry, it's pouring out another tango. Oh, I hate you lot. Hello there, Mr. Richard, again. How are you? Right, so that means I can set this up because we're probably waiting at a signal. Let's have a look. Yes, we're waiting at a signal. Right, let's get this ready. Ah, sorry, I'll set it up down there. And three. Oh, listen to them. Right, while we're here, um, get the AWS on. Great bit of British Rail traction, this. It's not annoying, is that really at all? Right, let's see what the old horn action is like. Ah, not bad. That's the rear. Oh, that would actually be the front. This is the rear. That sounds all right. We still got a red. Yeah. Oh, get the windows open. Come on. You know the rules. Uh, I take it we've got the brake on. Let me out the bloody door. Ah, the 101's about to leave. Right, what's this one sound like? Yeah, that one's knackered. How about this one? Sounds alright to me. There goes the 101. Make sure we've got everything we need. Yes, you know what? And we are having the... Oh, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. We should... Oh. Not that one, that one. It must be nice where you see a pair of 37s come storming by or, or um, oh hello, or a HST, here we go.
down here at the bottom of the yard, look. I've seen a pair of 20s go. I know you love the pull away that much. Twenty one two two. Uh no, sir, not yet. So what I've got the only PlayStation 4 game I've got on the PlayStation itself on the SSD is Train Sim World 2. Uh, everything else is on the external drives. I've got two of them. I hate it when we go back. No, I'm pretty tired at the moment, so yeah, got to be careful. Oh, excuse me, sneezy. Come on, then, let's get a go. Eighteen miles. <laughs> to be honest, I know I go on about this literally every stream, but I reckon we could see. I know they probably would do only do it for like Southampton. But I reckon if you do Eastley, Eastley to pool, you got the, it would fit quite well into the rush hour sort of thing because then you'd have the, um, hold on a minute. You don't know if it pays after PS4 to buy PS4 Pro in 2021 in the absence of the PS5. Who knows when it will come here, there are no indications in my country except those resellers for 700 euros yeah I know this this cost me 449 pound but this and the Xbox I managed to get through my YouTube earnings so yeah and it was pretty tight whether I'd still be able to afford um, to get trains in world rush hour it's very tight now actually um, I mean to be honest I think to be honest it's just better off you're just better off waiting it, they will become available it was, I mean to be honest it was just on the off chance that I got this I mean if I'd looked at least what another hour later I wouldn't have got it I'd have kicked myself because I would have been I would have known that they were in stock so, yeah. Oh, 
never know, never know. Yeah, the, the problem was is that I couldn't really get a pre-order because everywhere I went to get a pre-order, it's like, oh no, we're all we're, we're too full up for pre-orders. And because I usually get my PlayStation when they did come out, I always pre-order them at my local game store. I couldn't do that now because I don't have one because that twat Mike Ashley closed them down, wanker. That no, there isn't a real lot of difference except that you can record at 1080p. There is there is a slight performance difference, but it's not as much as there is for a gap between the PS4 Pro and PS5. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's. I don't actually know if I could play the um, Watch a 3D movie on Blu-ray on this yet. Yeah, I think it's definitely better to wait for a PS5 because then basically it'll be more stable. Although, touch wood, I haven't had no problem with them yet. Um, I only had a problem with the stream because the way that, I mean, I'd only had it 24 hours and I was actually streaming it's absolutely brilliant because all I've got to do is just press options and it, it comes up a little like a little window with go live, name your stream, tag, description and that's it basically so all I do is just press go live after I put in the title and that's it it's all done hi Andrew how are you I'm not too bad bit, bit, bit sniffly Def definitely wait, definitely wait. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's the problem. It's just lost, like... Is the, the lack of hard drive space, especially now that the games are going to be installing a lot and dependent and running a lot on the solid-state drive, which is fair enough. You know, that's for the whole idea. But, you know, they should... I mean, my it's the same um, amount on my solid state drive for the um this is Tees Valley yes for my PC it's 825 gig um I think that's the only letdown especially for 449 it should be it should be at least one terabyte because I've got I think roughly about 600 gig left and I've only got one game on here which is Trains in World 2. As to whatever I sh else I want at the moment, the only thing that I'm looking for on the PS5 is Gran Turismo. Oh, definitely the PS5 it is a lot better. I don't like the design, I think it looks horrible design wise this is the disc version I've got not the digital this is the disc version um, and uh, I just think the design of it, it looks ra rubbish it's currently sat in my um, I have a little tray that has two PC cooling fans on it it has two rechargeable controller ports on it and three USB ports at the front. Honk if you're hentis. 
That is a bit of a honk, isn't it? Honk! Up the platform. Oh, hello. I can see these twenties being used on the uh, Brighton Main Line. <laughs> That's the other thing as well, we'll be able to use the 395 on the full rail tour from uh, Brighton to, or uh, London, Victoria to Brighton. So guys, if you're enjoying the stream, drop us a like. Drop us a sub if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying it. And hit, hit the bell icon for being kept up to date of everything on the YouTube channel. I'm sure we'll be able to fit TGV in. He says. I oh, know it's a bit late for the crossing. But I'd also probably end up doing a HST farewell tour as well. To be kept abreast. Ha <laughs> ha, he said abreast. No, I remember that came up when Natalie was watching. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I saw Joe turn up in Richard's server today as well. I said hello to him. Joe Burgess, the guy that's doing the uh, Brighton Mainline timetable. Yes. Uh, just a just a great Western HST farewell tool from basically. Uh, Borrowed from London Paddington, down, going from London Victoria to uh, um, um, Brighton. It would be such a shame that we can't use these sidings. Look at the way the twenties are moving in the back. In the back.
Buggy! Red Hill and Three Bridges, yeah. Yes. I'm waiting for the guy from India to um, comment saying, would like to see Rush Hour on the um, the iPhone and Android OS systems. I'll be like, Well, this time next week we'll be uh, doing probably some more uh, uh, Boston Providence. And the other good thing is as well is where there's diesel locos in the um, in the yards around on the Boston and Providence route, you can actually drive them within the yard doing a bit of shunting. There's 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 no what you call it. There's no um, that was in my right ear. That was horrible. There's no scenarios or uh, services for them. But you can just, if you spawn in the yard, then you can, they don't move, you can just actually get in there and drive them, but you can't access the main line. Come on then, let's go up the 50. Yeah, anyway, anyway, so, <coughs> sorry, as I was saying earlier, I think the pool to Waterloo, no, pool to Waterloo, pool to Southampton, say like pool to Eastley route, would really come in quite well for a rush, a route for rush hour. Mainly because, like, from pool, you have, um, the interregionals leaving, so basically, what they used to do first thing in the morning, you had the, the interregionals come down because they were being serviced at Bournemouth Depot overnight. They'd come down into pool from Bournemouth, basically into the reception sidings, and then um, the loco would run round the train, and then basically about five, ten minutes later, it would then leave the service side and go into full station, and then. That would be like the service, like from the, the ten past nine service from Paul to Newcastle. That would mostly can um, convey Mark to air conditioned stock. Um, and then there'd be like some uh, in the morning. There'll be some demands to Piccadilly, and there'll there'll be about three or four trains down in the from the Bournemouth depot. Um, in early morning sort of thing for about six o'clock onwards um, these would be the interregionals the class 47 hall things that go up to Reading because um, of engineering works oh crikey um, I think we've got a 35 limit or 45 limit around here now. Um, and then, so basically, as Southampton would be the main, oh, it's 30 limit. As Southampton would be one of the main stops, so you'd have uh, Poole, Bournemouth. Sometimes they stopped at Christchurch. Uh, Paul Bournemouth, Christchurch, Brockenhurst, then it would be Southampton, Southampton Parkway, and then they'd run fast from Southampton Parkway through Eastley up to Winchester, then Basingstoke onto Reading, then into Reading, the loco would run round at Reading and then run from Reading to um, uh, Oxford, Didcot Oxford, uh, Leamington Spa, Birmingham, 
and then off from Birmingham to wherever it's going then. Um, and then this is oh this junction here this is where the 37s come from from this area they run from here down and join the line here they don't run on where we're running from with the the hopper wagons so that will be uh, interregional 47s and obviously what would then would happen during the day when you get stuff coming down like from from about 11 o'clock onwards calling at pool pool stuff from manchester newcastle they would then come down like into the service sidings after calling up pool terminating they'll come into pool into the service sidings the loco would run round and then basically half an hour 35 minutes later the train would then leave for the next service like pool to manchester piccadilly so that would be a great idea because idea because then obviously you got the trains the dispatcher would be able to control and then obviously late on in the evenings the stuff that comes down in the evenings would be basically um uh stuff that comes down like from about half past eight through to about half past eleven at night they would literally then run from down into pool from like manchester and then they'd go up to bournemouth to be serviced and they'd be the first ones down in the morning so that would be great for dispatcher um and then obviously you then got all the stuff at bournemouth with the 33 ones coming off and the four reps going on so there's a fair bit of work there but you could get away with that just that stock with just having the multiple unit stock like the 491 tcs the 47s which they can easily grab over from northern trans pennine um the 33s that they could produce with the four reps and then basically they could introduce as possible DLC 33 O's um, 73s and other four car slam door stock which I know they said they have wanted to introduce slam door electric multiple units and there's no better time to do it than with that route and then of course you got crap loads of freight you got petroleum you got stone so there's plenty of stuff that could be going on that route hi nathan how you doing so that's why i, I reckon you know if someone says says to me about about the route why would you prefer it i'll just put i'd list that down i said that's the reason why because the uniqueness of the 33s coming off at ball if, if you've got a train from Waterloo to Weymouth then the 33 is coming off at Bournemouth no the, the four rep electric units coming off at Bournemouth and a 33 is going on I thought that was a 66 then um, so yeah you know and then the 33 is coming off at Bournemouth when they're going back to Waterloo so it's that uniqueness then you've got the the trains that terminate at pool as well and that cut the, the stuff that comes from bournemouth and goes into bournemouth at night so there's a lot a lot of movement and everything yeah i'm okay i'm okay a bit cold i've got my wind, main window open now it's chills getting in so there's an awful awful amount of um possibilities for that route double pair of 20s look seems to be an awful lot of 20s about Um, some of the track has been ripped up not all of it at the moment there's still a fair bit to do I think they're keeping the bit 
down to the station it will work where it's opposite the station i think they're keeping that bit because they can do a little bit of storage in there if they need it if jersey sidings gets a little bit bogged down west coast right all nice you'll be able to check that out on real-time trains Ouch. Ooh, tree, tree, tree. That is the um, foxes. Can you hear them? Yes. You had an argument about delays on the Brighton Main Line earlier. You won. Oh, nice one. So I thought you might have enjoyed that little bit of a. little bit of a run up. There's always someone that wants to argue with me about sort of stuff and I'm just like, yeah, whatever, get on with it. Can't be asked. I mean, the best one, it was on actually, it was um, a train sim world post. And I said something about that I've got two PS4 Pros, one that I use for streaming and one that I use for just general gaming. And then this guy wanted me to explain to him why my reasoning was to buy two PS4s and not have a PS4 Pro and a Nintendo Switch. And I was like, because I don't like Nintendo, simple as that. Oh crap. Well, that's all she wrote, folks. That bloody signal again. I'm always spatting at that signal. Well, you'll be pleased to know we've got time for the TG 